I'm going to show you how you can automatically move Airtable records to another table. I'll be using this tool by miniextensions.com. So the idea here is you've got a table. Um, we've got a table here that has a record. And what we want is we want records, whenever they enter this view, to be deleted from this table and then added to this table. So they're literally being moved, as in this record gets completely deleted and then a completely new record gets created in this table. And this is useful if you want to do something like, um, let's say you have tickets and then some tickets are just genuinely archived. You want to get them out of this table. Like you'll never ever use them in this table again. Or, you know, stuff like that where it really just makes sense to move the record to another place and just keep a record. Um, so I'll show you how you would set this up now. Follow the blue URL to get your API key. Paste that here and then select your base and then select the table that you'd like to move records from. Then after that, select the view. So the idea here is records within that view will be moved. Records outside of that view will never be looked at. Next is the table that you want to move the records to. Now, this is super important. Both tables have to have the same exact field names and the same exact field types. They have to exactly match. If you have a linked record field, it has to be the exact table that it links to, et cetera. Any deviation will cause the entire thing to, to error because you know if you have attachments and then you're trying to set attachment to text or something, it just doesn't work because it's a different field type. So just always make sure you have the same exact field types. What we recommend is you know if, if you have an existing table, you can just click over here and duplicate that table and you'll never have to worry about those field types. And then, so before I run this, what I expect is this record right here to be moved over to be right here. So let's go ahead and run this. Okay, so we go back, as you can see, that record got deleted from here and it got added from here. Cool. So one thing to note before I continue, if that record was linked to, uh, was linked to or from another table, that would cause some problems, right? Because let's say I had in this table, a record that linked to the record just, that just got deleted, that linked record, that relationship would have been cut. So I just wanted to note that so that um, this is understood in case you have other tables that are linking to this record. Last few things here. You can schedule this to run regularly. So if you'd like it to run every hour or so, you can select an option from here. And then you can also use a webhook. A webhook is a URL. Every time this URL is opened, that job runs. So this could be useful if you want to use it as a redirect URL, for example, for you know a forum, or if you want to use it uh, as a uh, webhook uh, trigger in Zap or so, stuff like that, where you just want it to run as part of a, a workflow.